This is the BBC. This podcast is supported by advertising outside the UK. BBC Sounds. Music, radio, podcasts. You're listening to Monday's episode of The Archers from BBC Radio 4. Hi, Fallon. What are you doing here? Please, don't be like that. What do you want, Amy? Look, I'm sorry to bother you. You at know, work, I'm really not interested. Fallon, I'm busy. There's no one here. I've got Martha's birthday cake to make. I'm only asking for a couple of minutes. No, look, it's lunchtime. There'll be people in. If someone arrives, I'll go, I promise. Can't we just talk while it's quiet? No. We need to talk. We don't. <sighs> All right, maybe you're right. Maybe not here, but... No, not anywhere. Listen, I get that you're angry with me, Fallon, but if we carry on like this, we're going to ruin Martha's birthday party. I've sent you an email with the document attached. Right. So if you wouldn't mind printing off 12 copies and stapling them together before you have lunch? No problem, Oliver. I do it myself, only I have some urgent calls to make. Leave it with me. Thanks, Tracy. Afternoon. Jazzer. You ready for your lunch break, then? Oliver was just here. I know, I've been waiting for him to clear off. You were watching? Aye. And can I see how foxy you're looking this afternoon? Give over. What? I'll try to compliment you, hen. What if a guest hears you? What, if you're across there? Well, what if Oliver comes back? I heard him say he'd calls to make. I'm just a bit nervous. Uh-huh. Me and all. Exciting, isn't it? I mean, kind of... Only... It's fine. Are we doing the right thing, Jazzer? This is your lunch break. I know, but... You're no skiving off work. What does this mean you see an empty room? If Oliver found out... Why would he? He's busy on the phone. What if someone sees us, though? Look, the sooner you sort me out with your room key, the sooner I can disappear. Right. Let me look what's available. You keep your eyes peeled. Make sure you get us a good room. Shh! Maybe one with a view of the gardens. We're not going to be gulping out the window. True enough, but we want a decent room. I'm looking. After all, if I'm satisfied with my stay, I may become a regular visitor. Hey? It all depends on the service. Are you all right? Allow me to introduce myself. Denham Ruddock, travelling stationery salesman. Have you had a bang on the head? I should add, lonely travelling stationery salesman. Chazzer, what are you on about? Look, just... Go with the flow, Tracy, will you? What's with the plummy voice? I reckon a better role play might add some extra space. And the best you can come up with is a stationary salesman. If you'd care to come to my room, I could show you some samples. Only if I get a big discount. Look, here's the key card for room 210. Second floor, turn right out the lift, and keep your head down, Jazzer. Mr Ruddock to you. Mr Ruddock. And am I right in thinking you will personally be providing room service? Just go, will you? I can't bear this atmosphere between us, Fallon. Hardly surprising. Look at yesterday in the village hall. That was really unpleasant. I'll admit I went too far. (sighs) Yeah, it's all right. There wasn't an apology, Amy. I made Alice suspicious and I'm trying to protect her. She's suspicious? Don't worry. I haven't said anything. She thought I was being unreasonably mean to you. Oh, I'm sorry, Fallon. I had to promise her I'd make more of an effort to be nice to you. I know it's difficult under the circumstances, but we can't carry on like this. Look, I'll keep things civil. Thank you. But I'm doing this for her. I understand. And when Alice isn't around, I want nothing to do with you. Oh, please, Fallon. It's the best you're going to get. I understand what I've done. Do you? Do you realise you're risking everything? Your friendships, Alice's recovery... I I don't want that. But she's really trying to put her life back together, Amy. And look at the effort that Alice is making for Martha's birthday. I know. She's determined to make up for everything that's happened, to make amends with all the people that she's hurt. I I want to support her. I do. What, like this? 
You know, Alice gave me a gift card yesterday to thank me for all my help, and she's bought one for you too. Oh, she shouldn't have done that. No. Fallon, everything is such a mess. It's what you and Chris created. We haven't been seeing each other, you know. Really? I swear. The last time we saw each other was Wednesday. Look, Amy... I'll admit, I've wanted to go to the forge, but I've stopped myself. Oh, wow, I'm supposed to appreciate the sacrifice. No! Oh, I don't know. The fact is, Fallon... I have feelings for Chris, real feelings, and I don't want to, but I just can't help it. They're there whether I like it or not, and I don't like it. Not really, because of what it means for me and Alice, because of what it's causing between me and you. I don't want this to be happening. (laughs) Amy, do you have a tissue? Yeah. Thank you. I really have tried to ignore my feelings for Chris, honestly. I tried to push them away, but I couldn't. If it had been just from my side, maybe I'd have had to get over it, but then it turned out Chris had feelings too, and ever since we shared how we felt, I've been in total turmoil. It's awful, Fallon. My head's all over the place. I can see that. Anyway, oh, I shouldn't be here crying to you. Look, why don't you take yourself home? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Fallon. Will you be okay? I don't know. Well, you certainly can't go on like this. I know. I need to figure out what to do. I'm sorry, Jazzer. Have you forgot about me? Two minutes. What are you doing? I had to wait for someone to cover me. Well, I'm lying here, Scuddy. You what? Starkers. <laughs> what happened to the accent? I can't keep it up. You'd better. Tracy. I've got to go. Just get yourself upstairs. Oliver! Everything all right? Oh, another one of those days, I'm afraid. I can foresee things getting on top of me. I know the feeling. Uh, You're on your lunch break, I realise. I I was just... A guest dropped something in the lobby, so I was taking it up to them. Well, as you're going upstairs, perhaps you'd do me a favour? Actually... uh, You're familiar with Mrs Sanderson? Yeah, I checked her in. A rather demanding customer. You're telling me. Anyway, she wasn't at all happy with the room she was allocated. Surprise, surprise. So uh, I wonder if you checked that she's satisfied with the one I'd moved her to. You've moved her? Yes. What number? 210. 210? But I've given her the key. You mean... Hopefully she'll find this room to her liking. I'm sorry to ask you to interrupt your break. Uh, It's fine. There's no immediate rush. I'm on it, Oliver. Well, well, please attend to your other guests first. He can wait. Hi, Amy. Look, I know you're probably busy, Fallon. No, it's fine. I'm sorry to keep bothering you. What is it? I'm glad we talked earlier. I mean, I know it wasn't exactly easy, but it actually helped. Where are you? Uh, Walking home. But I've been doing some thinking. Good. And I've decided some stuff. Okay. And I just wanted to tell you. Listen, I know you're struggling. I really can't cope with the situation. But I'm struggling too. I, I understand. Which is why I think we need to have some boundaries. Right. I can't be your confidant, Amy. That's not what I'm asking. I can't keep talking to you about this. You won't have to. I'm leaving. Leaving? Mm, I need some time away from Ambridge. It's it's the only way I'm going to get Chris out of my system. I see. With a bit of space, maybe I can get my head together. That's the plan, anyway. What are you going to tell people? I've got a friend in Nottingham who's due to take a midwifery exam. I thought I could go and help her study. I mean, it's true, she could use some support. Right. I wouldn't be lying. There's been enough of that already. And I'm sorry for dragging you into it. When are you leaving? I'll go Wednesday, straight after Martha's party. That soon? I'm only making things awkward by being here. 
Listen, you know how I feel about everything that's happened. And I don't blame you. But Alice really does rely on you. She's going to miss you, Amy. You'll look after her. Yeah, of course, but she counts on you too. She sees you as one of her biggest supporters. Don't, Fallon. No, I'm not saying that to make you feel guilty. It's just the truth. I'll stay and help with the party, but then I'll head off. If you're really sure. It's best for all of us. Come on, get a move on. What are you doing, Tracy? Stop chatting, please, at me. I need you dressed and out, Jazzer. Dressed? But we haven't even started. No, and we're not going to. We need to be out of here. What? I knew this was a bad idea all along. Oh, calm down, then. Calm down? Hi. A guest almost let herself in here, Jazzer. Can you imagine? They expect mints on the pillow, not a naked Scotsman. <laughs> what gets through in the law, won't one? Just get your pants on, will you? Hang about. Where is she, this guest? I've sent her to the bar. Well, then? I said we're just finishing sorting the room out. That gives us a few minutes. Forget it. She thinks we're doing something special in here. Oh, that was the idea. I mean, like complimentary flowers. Listen. I'll have to nick a vase of roses from reception. Oh, blimey, she's back. Huh? It's all right. I took her key card. She can't get in. You sure? Tracy? Oliver. What? He'll have a key. Wait... Why do you send Mrs. Sanderson downstairs? Don't come in! What? What? Jazza? Huh. All right. I can explain, Oliver. The room wasn't quite ready. I, uh, I was just helping Tracy get things ship shape. Only Jazza's come straight from Barrow and I didn't want him spreading muck around, so... So I stripped half. To protect the furnishings. I know what it looks like. But there's a perfectly rational... Ridiculous ex- explanation. Look... Oliver... Don't insult my intelligence. We didn't mean to. Just stop talking, both of you. We're sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry you take me for such a fool. Perfectly obvious what's going on here. All right. Hands up. How dare you breach my trust and behave so outrageously. You're right. I know I'm right. This is the most appalling misconduct. Look. Get dressed, Jezza. Oliver... Tracy, you can go home. But... You're suspended until further notice. You can't do that. Yes, I can. Let's just calm down. As long as this is my hotel, I'll do as I see fit. I want you both out of here. Now. Come on, Hen. I'm supposed to be on reception in the morning. I'll make other arrangements. Why don't I come in first thing and we can talk this through? I'm busy all day. Please, Oliver. No, Tracy. You'll know in due course what action I'm taking. <laughs> 